Hi, Ultimate Gardeners. Welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. My name is Imani Arce, well known as the Ultimate Gardener. My goal in the garden industry is to help you guys become Ultimate Gardeners and help you guys teach others how to become one. So in today's exciting sprouting video, it's sort of as a shame video, but at the same time a good video because I'm teaching you guys how to bring back to life your sweet potato vine that's about to die. So yes, as you guys can see here in this table, I have near to death sweet potato vines. Um, these plants have been neglected. They have uh, already early signs of white fly. They haven't get, been getting the proper sunlight. And so of course, with those factors added, the sweet potato vine isn't a vine. So I wanna show you guys the basics on how to bring back one to life and what you're supposed to do to keep it alive and make it flourish yet again. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So ultimate gardeners, here's the basic things you're gonna need for your survival of the sweet potato vine. So you're gonna need some sort of container to put the vine in, a pair of snippers or pruners, and a fresh bag of soil. You don't wanna use garden soil, that's a huge no-no in the garden industry. Garden soil equals multiple different problems feature on. So we recommend to use uh, top soil or any type of soil you have, but do not use garden soil. So. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera up closer and show you guys step by step on what you're supposed to do to bring back your sweet potato vine to life. So Ultimate Gardeners, here we are. So of course, first steps first is you want to go ahead and clean out your sweet potato vine from any dead branches. So here are the ne neglected uh, sweet potato vine. So clearly you can see where some dying branches are and where some dead branches are. So clearly we're gonna go ahead and come through and cut the dead branches off. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut the these branches off because they are diseased with white fly and we do not want that. So we're gonna cut those babies off. Be careful you do not nip the root system. If you nip the root system, your chances of this sweet potato vine surviving is very slim. So you want something like that because this is new growth coming out and that's gonna be the new start of this plant. But what happens if there's no clear uh, position of which your sweet potato vine doesn't have a clear new growth system. So here we have one that is great, an example. So here we have a few, so we're just gonna cut it like so, like we did last time, but do not cut off all the branches because the older branches is where the new branches will be coming off. So you just want to leave a little bit of space like so. So you have this technically bare root in a way. So you have the stems up and the root system down. So that's how you want it. So let's go ahead and move on to the soil. So I have me some good top soil from Timberline, which never fails me. So I like to work with dry soil, but if you like to work with moist soil, you can always do that. So I have two one gallon size containers here, which will they, they will fit well in. So let me go ahead and fill that up with soil. So here we have the first bucket of soil. As you can see, I did not fill it all the way up because the thing you wanna do is you're gonna get your, your bare root in a way and you're just gonna plop it in there. Shake off any soil around the new growth or the stem so you could have a clear vision where you could put soil in and just press it down gently and then you're gonna go ahead and overtop it with, with um, new fresh soil. like so so now your sweet potato vine is ready to go ahead and grow on so let me go ahead and do that to the other one or actually let me show you how to do with that one because that one's a bare root so here i have another one gallon size container so this one i filled up a little bit more because like there's no clear uh, new growth like there is on that one so the thing you want to do is you're going to get it do the same tactic except make sure to leave the stems more higher up so when you water the water doesn't like if there's ever for example the the holes the drainage holes get clogged 
it would uh, put the percentage down of these rotting. So because the potato vine actually grows in water, so you want to be careful with these so these don't rot because if these rot, it's the end of the life for there. So let me go ahead and top dress that. So like so, you have the little stems popping up and you're ready to go. So let me go ahead and clean this situation up and give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to care for them. So ultimate gardeners, moving on to the tutorial on how to care for your sweet potato vines is very simple because sweet potato vines are very adaptable and very easy to take care of. So there's not much to it, but there is a few things you need to consider when taking care of these babies. So first things first, you want to watch out with watering. That's a huge thing when it comes to baby plants that are ready to go ahead and grow again. When it comes to baby plants like this, you do not want to overwater because if overwater becomes a situation, the baby plants could end up rotting easier and it'll make the plant way more vulnerable to fungus, to root rot, and to maybe even foliage rot if you get some new growth. So you want to be careful with that, but at the same time, you don't want to underwater because underwatering can cause the roots to dry out and you don't want that to happen with sweet potato vine. So I would recommend watering one time every two to three days. If it rains that specific day, water one to one time every three days. If it doesn't, one time every two days. So you can make sure your, your baby plants are actually getting watered, but they're not being dried out as frequently. So when it comes to a potato vine that has new growth on it like this, you want to be careful with it because they are very vulnerable to any disease out there like aphids, white fly, because these plants did have Wi-Fi, but I actually ended up cutting those branches out. So this baby does not have Wi-Fi, which is a good thing. But if the entire plant has Wi-Fi, it's best off to just throw it away because you don't want the disease spreading onto any of your other plants. So you want to go ahead and take good care of that new growth and make sure it's not vulnerable or exposed to any other plant that's had a white fly. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up for you guys. So Ultimate Gardeners, that's going to be it for this exciting sprouting video. Once again, I gave you guys the basics on how to care for your baby plants or sweet potato vines and also gave you guys a tutorial on what to do if your sweet potato vines are dying and you want them to stay alive. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to support my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when a new exciting sprouting video comes out, just like this one, make sure to hit that bell notification button so you get notified when a new exciting sprouting video comes out. Thank you all so much for watching and never forget to grow big old swimming gardeners. Bye guys.